que nos ha dado su amor hasta la cruz. Escuché su grito hacia el Padre, el grito por la vida, nadie como yo lo conoció. De Dios que es también hijo mío, con mis ojos tuve que contemplar al cuerpo que yo di a luz, a mi amor vilmente traicionado, vendido, crucificado y cruelmente llevado a Señor, lo rechazaron, que nos ha dado su amor hasta la cruz. Sus dolores me atormentaron, yo vi su amor en la corazón se quebrantó dentro de mí, en mi dolor por él. A él, a mi Señor, lo rechazaron, que nos ha dado su amor. Hasta la cruz. A él, a mi Señor. Rechazaron, que nos ha dado su amor hasta la cruz. A él, cabeza de la creación, a él que lo creó todo con su amor.
Señor, lo rechazaron, que nos ha dado su amor hasta la cruz. Sus dolores me atormentaron, yo vi su amor en la cruz, mi corazón se quebrantó dentro de mí.
Okay, hello everyone. Okay. Well, I never really know what I'm going to do on a given show, but I certainly prepared, um, as it said on the show card, the first three stations of the Stations of the Cross. Which day is Wednesday, so it's exactly a week ago that was Ash Wednesday. And in fact, it was exactly a week ago on Ash Wednesday that I did the Stations of the Cross, the original Stations of the Cross. So, um, so I figured I'd do them, so to speak, or rather I would um, use that as kind of a theme for today's show. And I will, of course, do the Divine Mercy Chaplet and the... Um, slides I'll show during the Divine Mercy Chaplet will be from the Stations of the Cross from last week, the first three stations, you'll see. And then I will um, uh, do a little, a little video tour of the first three stations of the cross. So that's the plan for today. Okay, and uh, so I will get started without further ado. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. 
Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle, be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray, and do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin and destruction of souls. Amen. Saint Joan of Arc, patroness of France and patroness of our prayer group, we ask you now to fight this battle with us by prayer, just as you led your troops to victory in battle. You who are filled with the Holy Spirit and chosen by God, help us this day with the favor that we ask of you, that we all receive the graces which will result in us getting into heaven with all our loved ones, and that you intercede to defeat the current attempt to enslave humanity under the one world antichrist government. Grant us by your divine and powerful intercession the courage and strength we need to endure this constant fight and to emerge victorious. Saint Joan, pious daughter of the church, pray for us. Amen. And uh, well, I you know, I like to rotate through the prayers for the conversion of the Jews. So I think I'll um, do the prayer from the Sisters of Our Lady of Zion. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. God of all goodness and Father of mercies, we beseech thee through the Immaculate Heart of Mary and by the intercession of the patriarchs and holy apostles to cast a look of compassion upon the children of Israel that they may be brought to the knowledge of our only Savior, Jesus Christ, and may partake of the precious fruits of the redemption. Forgive, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. Amen. Okay. Hmm. little adjustment here, perhaps. Oops. Let's see how I can do this. Okay, that may be okay. Okay, and now the um, Divine Mercy Chaplet. This is going to be a little bit um, hard. I'll start them. I'll start uh, the normal way. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, amen. You expire, Jesus, but the source of life gushed forth for souls, and the ocean of mercy opened up for the whole world. O font of life, unfathomable Divine Mercy, Envelop the whole world and empty yourself out upon us. O oh, blood and water, which gushed forth in the heart of Jesus as a font of mercy for us, I trust in you. O oh, blood and water, which gushed forth in the heart of Jesus as a font of mercy for us, I trust in you. O oh, blood and water, which gushed forth in the heart of Jesus as a font of mercy for us, I trust in you. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended to heaven and sits at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there, he shall come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Eternal Father, I offer thee the body, blood, soul, and divinity 
of thy dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer thee the body, blood, soul, and divinity of thy dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer thee the body, blood, soul, and divinity of thy dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer thee the body, blood, soul, and divinity of thy dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion. 
have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer thee the body, blood, soul, and divinity of thy dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal God, in whom mercy is endless and the treasure of compassion inexhaustible, look kindly upon us and increase your mercy in us, that in difficult moments we might not despair, nor become despondent, but with great confidence submit ourselves to thy most holy will, which is love and mercy itself. Amen. Jesus, I trust in you. Jesus, I trust in you. Jesus, I trust in you. Saint Faustina, pray for us. Amen. 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 And you know what I've been forgetting the last couple of days is the Mary multiplier. But going back to those slides reminded me. So let's do the Mary multiplier. So we'll take a few moments and I'll think of an intention for a Hail Mary. And we will say our Hail Marys together. And we will ask the Blessed Virgin Mary that she applies all each of the Hail Marys to each of our individual intentions. Okay. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Amen. Okay. I was introduced to iced coffee in Israel. First time I had iced coffee in my life was in Israel in 1969. So maybe that's why I'm so fond of iced coffee. Who knows? I was in Eilat. I was on the southern tip of Israel. Yep. Okay. Um, no babbling, Roy. It's work time. Okay. I'll go through... Um, Okay, this, the theme of today's show, so to speak, is the Stations of the Cross. So, um, let me see if I can get this kind of in order. Maybe not. Whoops. Okay. Okay, so... Okay, this... Um, this is Jesus um, being scourged, 
and the picture, well, I'll spend a lot of time on this place, but Church of the Flagellation, uh, the uh, where the scourging actually took place, actually. And um, uh, this, is a, this is interesting to me. Uh, this is Jesus in prison, but the funny thing is, there is a cell in the Church of the Holy Sepulchre where he supposedly was, was um, it wasn't the Church of the Holy Sepulchre, but it was near, obviously it was near the site of the crucifixion. And supposedly he was um, imprisoned there. Uh, and I imagine that would have been while they were waiting to nail him to the cross or something like that. I never got that story straight, but that picture is from there. That is just sunrise over Jerusalem with the, uh, um, yeah, I'm not going to do any more guesses. This is Jesus being taken uh, from the Garden of Gethsemane. I will expand that a little bit if I can, or a lot if I can. Whoops. There. Oh, actually, I'm wrong. Um, that looks like it's Jesus being taken in the Garden of Gethsemane. Looks like he's, that's him being arrested in the Garden of Gethsemane. And um, this is the door of the tabernacle in the Church of the uh, Flagellation. And um, it's not the world's sharpest picture, but it is a beautiful uh, face of Jesus. Looks a lot like the uh, face on the shroud. And he's crowned with thorns. Whoops. Sorry. Got out of control here. And this is... Excuse me. I muted my sneeze. Okay. This is um, Jesus carrying the cross. Um, and this statue is exactly where he picked up the cross. Uh, it's at, at um, the third station. And I'll talk more about that in a few minutes. And this is a painting of um, Jesus. I think it's a fresco. I'm not sure. Actually, I don't remember. We'll see. But uh, it's a picture of Jesus um, taking up the cross in the place. The picture was in the place where he took up the cross. The church that's built on the side where he took up the cross. We'll be seeing that more later. And now I'm skipping to the end of the uh, Stations of the Cross. This is um, in the Holy Sepulchre, and it is where Jesus was nailed to the cross, not surprisingly. That's what the image is of. And uh, here is an image on the ceiling there of Jesus being nailed to the cross. That's the same picture. And then this is where his tomb is. His tomb is in that little church that's built around the tomb itself. Actually, there's that church. Inside that little structure, there is a little, tiny little doorway to the rear of that structure, which is where the tomb itself is, and uh, where I was able to spend hours and hours praying, literally hours and hours praying alone. Actually, that's not true. Most of the time, there was someone else in there praying with me. I was in there alone occasionally, but um, not more for more than five minutes or so. Someone else would come in and pray. Okay, so that's that part of things. And um, now I have a little video like I had yesterday. I hope it's a little, 
works. Let's see what happens. Okay. So let's see what happens if I start that video. Okay, here I am walking up the Via Dolorosa and um, I'm walking between the third station and the second station and that arch you see above me is called Ecce Homo Arch because it is more or less at the place where Pontius Pilate stood and, um, and displayed the condemned Jesus. Uh, the streets, believe me, normally there'd be hundreds of people in the frame of this video and not just the odd dozen. It's Friday, so those are Muslims going to the um, Temple Mount. Uh, that's... Uh, or going to a mosque in any case. I think that they're going to the Temple Mount, I'll know in a moment or so. And uh, here we pass the monastery of Notre Dame de Sion, which is built over, it's built by the Radisbon brothers over the spot where Jesus was condemned. My, excuse me, and excuse me, where, where the Jews cried, his blood be on us and on our children. Uh, yes, I believe that the uh, Fortress Antonia was on the right side of this street around where I am now. Um, a little bit further up the street, maybe. So, this is the entrance to Notre Dame de Sion. Side in the same place. It's a Franciscan monk. Okay, I didn't show the entry into this courtyard, but it is a um, Franciscan monastery built on the site of the essentially second and third stations of the cross. Um, monastery. Um, but it had also been the home of the Sisters of Our Lady of Mercy. They had a small community here, I think three sisters, uh, and I was actually friends with one of them, Sister Veronica, from uh, her time in Boston. She was a Polish sister. It was very exciting. I was walking down the Via Dolorosa, and there comes this fully habited and black sister who calls out, Roy, and, you know, comes over to greet me, and she invited me in for tea, I guess, and cookies. That got me a lot of street cred with my, with the pilgrimage group I was leading at the time. So this is just the, um, the monastery. Uh, and I don't know why I'm showing this except to give a feeling for the place. and also to show how empty it is. Anyway, um, this is a little museum they have, which is closed because, as you can tell, there's no one here except you and me, and you're only here virtually. So that, again, is the uh, Church of the Flagellation there that we were in a little bit earlier. Actually, um, it's out of sequence there, but first of all, Antonia's question, though, the nuns are not there any longer. They had to leave because um, they were badly treated by the Franciscan friars. They weren't given t any time to pray. They were just treated as, um, as uh, servants, basically, you know, to prepare food and to clean the place and stuff. And they were not respected as religious, so they had to leave. Anyway... Um, one of the neat things about these churches in the Holy Land is that everything is done to echo what they're commemorating. And so you see that that's a crown of thorns 
around the, uh, let me pull up my famous finger here. There, you can see there's a crown of thorns around the uh, uh, opening, uh, the door. Okay. Let me continue this. How do I do this? The uh, Church of the Flagellation there that we were in a little bit earlier. We are now in the Church of the Agony. Whoops. Sorry for that. <laughs> I forgot to... I blew that. Okay, so we're now inside the Church of the Agony. And um, as we go forward, you know, I'm going to actually have to um, get rid of that, that uh, chipmunk voice. Let's see what we have here. Uh, the uh, window facing us is Jesus being scourged. That's on the show card. And um, we don't see yet. Okay, see there, there you see that uh, image of Jesus being scourged. And the door of the tabernacle, I'll move down to it in a moment, is uh, that beautiful relief of uh, Jesus crowned with thorns. I, um, I took your, I specifically prayed the prayer requests uh, in the tomb, in Jesus' tomb and at the foot of the cross is the answer. Um, and I, I haphazardly did in other places, but not, not uh, in an orderly way. There we have the um, door of the tabernacle, which is that uh, crowned with thorns, Jesus. And that's kind of neat, I hope I, uh, which is the dome over the church, the ceiling. You see, that's a big crown of thorns. There. That's all one big crown of thorns. Now, I have uh, better pictures of the uh, windows. It's going to be hard for me to figure out what windows what. Um, from this. Yeah. I don't know. It's hard for me to make out. I have some still shots of those that um, that I hope to get to. Maybe I can 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 uh, can anyone figure out what that is? Anyway. Um, this one is Barabbas, is uh, give us Barabbas, if I'm not mistaken. Whoops. which also, of course, took place uh, at the same place. There's the tabernacle again. Whoops. Okay. Right there, crowned with thorns, Jesus, and the window.
Okay, now this is another church, and presumably the sound is um, normal here. So let's see. Courtyard. Okay, so this is another church across that courtyard within the monastery, and this church is uh, commemorates the spot where Jesus took up the cross. So it's the third station, and the artwork in the church are images of Jesus taking up the cross. So the same monastery, and um, this is the chapel of the condemnation now. This was thought for a long time to be part of the um, pavement in front of Pontius Pilate's palace where Jesus was condemned, or the spot where Jesus was condemned. I think that's now not the belief. But in any case, the chapel is dedicated to his condemnation. And there is Jesus being given the cross. And um, the um, above, along the, uh, I'll just do a 360 here. You see the, um, Scripture quotes that says Matthew 27, 24 to 26, um, and the uh, sculpture. So that is the um, passage that is cited on top of that picture when uh, Pontius Pilate said, he washed his hands saying, I'm innocent of this man's blood. And the people answered, his blood be on us and on our children. Then he released for them Barabbas. As a matter of fact, you can see the Latin up top, Demisit Illus Barabam. And he released to them Barabbas. And uh, again, the, the altar here. Oh, and, uh, and a rather uh, powerful statue of Jesus carrying the cross here. There we go. Okay. I will close this little chapel visit. We are now outside in the same place. It's a Franciscan monastery, um, but it had also been the home of the Sisters of Our Lady Oops. of Mercy. We've been there. They had a small. That's a repeat from what I had at the beginning. Here. And that, that ends our visit to the um, a site of the flagellation. The pillar isn't here, the pillar. Okay, somebody asked yesterday or the day before whether the pillar that Jesus was tied to for the scourging was there. And in fact, <clears throat> there are two pieces of that pillar. Uh, one is in the Church of the Holy Sepulchre, and we'll see a picture of that in a moment and the other is in the Church of St. Praxedes in Rome. That's the uh, piece of the pillar that's in the uh, Church of the Holy Sepulchre. And uh, I guess that's it. Where Jesus sat when he was being mocked and crowned with thorns is actually in the Church of the Holy Sepulchre. Yeah, okay, that last comment was that. Okay, here I am. Sorry. Okay, well, that last comment was that the, um, <clears throat> excuse me. Oh, go, how can I do this? Um, uh, okay. Um,
I am going to, whoops, that's no good. Okay. Uh, I'm going to try to show you a bunch of still pictures, but it's not very well organized. I apologize for that. So, um, so let's see what I did. I kind of, kind of got, um, okay, I think I better start a new one. New, okay. Um, Okay, and uh, we'll be here in a moment. And okay, this is going to be chaos for a moment. Uh, okay. Okay, let's see what happens now. <laughs> okay. Okay, um, yeah, so just another few seconds here. Okay. Huh. This is odd. I don't understand what's going on here. Aha, uh -huh. okay, that's what's going on here. Oh. Okay, this won't take forever. It just feels like it's going to take forever. Okay, good. Okay, um, this is that, uh, this is the window in the front of the, um, in the front of that church in, in full. And let's see what this is. That's, um, that's that window again. That's not terribly worthwhile. Let's see what this is. Okay, so this is this is another one of the windows um, that we saw in there. Uh, this is the window that I didn't know what it was. This is uh, Pontius Pilate uh, washing his hands. Yeah, uh, yeah. And. Okay, well, th that we saw. Uh, um, this is the altar in the, uh, the church dedicated to him uh, taking up the cross as from a little distance. And um, uh, I might have a... Oops. This is kind of, okay, I didn't want to make you guys jealous, but I actually was there with Harpa Day, and they sang um, Vespers. So I was there with them singing Vespers. The acoustics in there were very good, by the way. So that is Harpa Day singing Vespers inside that church.
Okay, that I can live without. Um, okay, finally, there is a little bit better image of the uh, door of the tabernacle in the Church of the Flagellation. There's the crown of thorns on the ceiling. Those white spots, by the way, are actually glass windows that let in the outside light. And that's what the bright spots are. And uh, let's see what I can do with this. Oh, that's the same window. That's okay. We don't need that. We don't need that. Um. We don't need that. See what this is. Okay. Um, whoops. This is that other window in the church, which is uh, give us Barabbas. Um, so I don't know. I don't know how uh, clear that is. It's rather a dark figure. Let me see if I can zoom in any there. So that's give us Barabbas. And this is the statue of um, Jesus carrying the cross. Now, there's a sad story, which was that vandals, uh, a vandal, uh, went into that church and uh, with a hammer. And I think that is what you see at the foot of his, of his uh, tunic or robe is where uh, it was vandalized and chipped. And that was very recent. That was like in the last year or so. And uh, very unfortunate. And uh, let's see. Oh, I didn't show you that actually, did I? Because um, I, yeah, let me, let me show you where that was done. That's, that's the, uh, the chip part from the from the uh, vandalism. And that may be all, actually. Yeah, that's uh, kind of all. And um, So let me bring myself back up. I don't know if anyone's still here. That seems to me that that was pretty unfocused. Now, um, I will close 
with a brand new Harp a Day piece that was filmed in Jerusalem. That I actually was there when they were filming it. So I guess first I'll, I'll um, let's see, where is that picture? Okay, I guess first I'll I'll show some clips of, of them filming it, and then I'll uh, um, then I'll close probably with the um, uh, with the uh, video itself. Okay, now when I watch Harper Day videos, um, you know, and they're like a three minute song or something. I, uh, let me see where this is. I'm lost again. I think it takes them about three minutes to make the video that they just kind of are standing there and they do the video. But that's not true. Um, in fact, it takes them a really long time. It took them probably about four days of, um, uh, filming a couple of hours a day in order to do this three minute video. So first, let me show you um, some of the uh, filming. So let's see how I'm not exactly sure how to do this. So let's see how this works. Okay, here I am walking up. That's not the Via right Dolorosa. Video. And um, I'm walking between the third station Whoops. and the second That's station. That's terrible. That's not what we wanted. And uh, that's not what we wanted. Maybe this is what we wanted. Let's see. Oops. It is, but it has to be rotated, of course. And it has to be shrunk. And it has to be rotated again. And uh, I don't know where the sound went. Oh. Okay, so this is... I know... Uh, it's going to be lousy. I have to, I have to, okay, that's 78. Here we go again. So I really bother. Um, let me see here. Add, add, uh, window capture. Okay. And, uh, 78. Okay. Oh boy, this is this is pretty silly. I'm not going to do that because it's just too much trouble. It's just too much trouble. So, uh, and it's too silly. So, I'll just show the. Uh, I just I'll just show the the. Um, video that they made in Jerusalem and uh, uh, I guess I can show some of this uh, but without the without the sound because the sound is um, yeah the sound is just too messed up so uh, anyway I'll uh, the answer the question yes uh, did I did did I pray with them every day? Yes, I did. I did. I had uh, lauds and vespers and uh, mass with them. I think every day. Um, I think so. Yeah, actually. So anyway, here's the video they did while I was there, and I'll just show the video that they did, and I'll I'm not going to mess up with the, the other stuff. So let's do that. Um. Oh, 
rechazaron, que nos ha dado su amor hasta la cruz. A él, cabeza de la creación, a él que lo creó todo con su amor. Rechazaron que nos ha dado su amor hasta la cruz. Escuché su grito hacia el Padre, el grito por la vida, nadie como yo. Conoció al Hijo de Dios que es también Hijo mío. Con mis ojos tuve que contemplar al cuerpo que yo di a luz, a mi amor vilmente traicionado. Okay, well, that's it, guys. That's it, guys. Whoops. I'll, I'll, um, <clears throat> I'll uh, put that up. I mean, I'll go out with that in kind of a relatively normal way here. I'll uh, go back to the opening screen. And I will, um, uh, oh, I'll, um, bring, uh, I'll, I'll bring up that, um, the video that you were just watching of Harper Day and the music. And I will, uh, how do I do this? Okay, maybe I do it like that, and then I think I do it like this. And um, I will fade out, and I will bring up Harpa Day. So 
Bye for now. Thank you. Thanks for coming. que nos ha dado su amor hasta la cruz. A él, cabeza de la creación, a él que lo creó todo con su Oh.